Hello everyone, and welcome, welcome to another Hesric video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Belcher deck. So we already took a look at a Belcher deck in this channel already, but there is a new card that came out, which does make the Belcher deck more consistent. Well, to a certain extent. So there's a card that we got from March of Machine Aftermath called Reckless Handling. So this is a 2 mana sorcery card. What this basically does is it fetches our Goblin Char Vulture from our deck into your hand. But once you do that, you have a chance of discarding a random card that could be Goblin Char Vulture. And that's why I did say at the beginning to a certain extent. But if you haven't mulliganed, and you play this on turn 2 or turn 3, there is a good chance that you just keep the Char Vulture that you fetched, and that's what makes this card very powerful. Since you do just outright win if you can land Goblin Char Vulture on curb, especially if you have Iron Craig Feed to go along with it. So now the deck has 4 copies of Reckless Handling, 4 copies of Goblin Char Vulture itself, and 4 copies of Indomitable Creativity that is all trying to do the same thing, in getting the Belcher down on curve. So having said that, I'm gonna be jumping into some historic best of one to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. Okay, now that is a mulligan. Sure. So we got two lands here, three lands. I think it's Reckless Handling. Since we got Strike It Rich with Indomitable Creativity. Blue White Control. We do have Pact of Negation though, so that's kind of nice. So that might actually win us the game. Okay. We have one packed of negation. Excuse me? Brazen Borrower. What is up with that? I kind of want them to tap out or just have like one mana or something. Freaking Brazen Borrower main deck. Jeskai Control. What are you doing, man? Oh my god. My, my god, my god, they really just, okay, um, I guess we keep passing with double pack negation up. It is a control deck, right? Nice. I think that does it. Wandering Emperor, sure. What if they have another Brazen Borrower? Let your blade do the talking. That would be atrocious. Guards, to me. So we have double packed of negation and we're hard casting. 
actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we need one more mana. Oh no. Uh, three, five, seven. Uh, the the problem with Pact of Negation with Iron Crag Feet is uh, you cannot actually cast. So if they don't counter. So I can't go Iron Crag Feet into Indomitable Creativity because. Put an upkeep there. Yeah, so they had counter spells, right? That means I would have lost. Since I I can't cast another card, like Pact of Negation. Like they're they're gonna let the Iron Crag feet resolve, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Although this is really, really close. We're like one off lethal right now. We just needed one more mana, but... Let's see it. See it, opponent. Can you get rid of Goblin Charbelcher here? We have one more Pact of Negation. Archmage Charm, that's fine. This is 8 damage. We're at 1. That is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, Iron Crack Feet, not very good versus Control Deck. Okay, I, I think this is a keep. Strangle. Okay, kind of awkward. At least we have a lot of strangles. Man. I feel like this deck needs to actually play 25 lands. This actually happens a lot. I just don't have lands. I think land is like the most important aspect about this deck. Just kind of shaking my head right now. Until the end of your next turn. I'm gonna try to look for lands. Yikes. Only one. I guess that does kind of work out though. Because we can go Iron Crag feet into Magma Opus. So unless they can kill me here. Which I don't think they can. I think we're in a good spot. Okay, we got there. But honestly, like... Hmm... I feel like we need to go up on land. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up on land. Okay, we got a belcher. I'm not even sure if it's actually possible to miss out on Belcher casting on turn four with this uh with this deck. It's actually kinda crazy.
It is actually nuts. So this deck plays Skyclave Apparition, so we do have to be uh, very, very careful. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to kill this though. And that. Hold up. Uh, do I have enough next turn? Four, five. I do. So this way I win next turn by just playing the Belcher out with three mana left over. You, you never want to play the Goblin Char Belcher naked versus uh, like a white creature deck because they could be playing Skyclave Apparition, right? You, if you can help it, right? Dude, this thing is so sick. Now that it's like so consistent. Like, what is this? Oh, we got ourselves a control deck. We got ourselves a control deck. Let's uh, fire off this handling. Okay. Didn't expect them to counter that. Okay, we win if we get a Belcher here. We win if we get a Belcher. Belcher? Okay, that's actually fine. That was the turn though. I it probably should have just played a land there. So we got double counter spell for playing the Belcher. We pl we play the counter spell, and then um, we play the counter spell again on their turn. Oh, I was gonna say like demolition field. Oh my god! But we do have. We put a stop on our upkeep, play the Belcher. Play the land, pass. We don't care about the Memory Deluge. All we need to do is counter whatever they play on their turn. And that's game. Pact of Negation. We beat... We're, we're actually 100% win rate versus a control deck right now. We played against three control decks so far. Hmm. We do have an Iron Crack feat. We also have a Strangle. Is this a keep? Is it so crazy to keep this? Uh, we're just missing 12 of our cars, right? I think that's uh, something we can definitely easily achieve. Gruel 
goblins. Cruel goblins. So I would like to get uh, 12 of my Belcher cars, please. We play 12 copies of it. That would be much appreciated. I'll take a Belcher. Any Belchers? Hmm. Can they win? There it is. 12 copies of Belcher. That's kind of nuts. It's pretty reliable. Well, I, I say 12 copies, but the last four copies are kind of RNG. This deck is so consistent. Like, I always have a Char Vulture. It's insane. Goblins. It seems like this, uh, this variation of goblins is pretty po uh, popular. I think I'm gonna tap here. There's a good chance they just sacrifice a Skirt Prospector to get a 3 drop down. Maybe I should have actually... Okay, so they did that. I could shock this in to gamble. So I shock it in. Magma Opus. If I get a land, I can get a turn 3 win, but... Yeah, I think that's always better to shock here. Because it does get me a chance of winning next turn. Versus if I play the tap land there and pass... I'm going to be winning on turn 4 anyways. Right? Uh, unless... Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Which one's more important? Horde Master or Pasholic Mons? Probably Pasholic Mons, right? Honestly, like, goblins just doesn't seem that fast. It doesn't seem very fast to me. And I say that, and I'm probably going to lose here. Classic. Watch me lose here. That would be funny.
Okay, so they play that. Uh, sacrifice three creatures and probably play a three drop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe they can win. You gotta go fast. Wow, that's a lot of creatures sacrificed. Well, I can definitely say they probably won now. Okay, I take it back. Goblin is fast. I didn't think we would lose on turn 4 from an empty board. Okay. Got ourselves Reckless Handling. Basically a Belcher. So as long as we don't get rid of... Oh god. It's a combo deck. Actually, don't think we have time. Huh. We have to kill that next turn. I think I'm actually going to do this. I'm kind of scared. Nice. So we play this as a land. Get rid of the scamp. Otherwise, we're going to get one shotted. Excel the top two cards of your library until the end of the turn. You may play those cards. Okay, that's good. They play the hammer. Oh, they won. Yes! Yeah, that was kind of scary. If they attached... If they had a way to equip the hammer to the cacophony scan, we would have just instantly lost, right? So, I don't think I've... Okay, except for the first game, I think... We've started with a Belcher every single game. Like, like either form of a Belcher, creativity... Uh, it's just so good. The 12 copies of Belcher definitely does help with the consistency, I'll tell you that much. Um, should I play the Belcher? Okay, the, so the thing is, if they have a Baseju, we lose the game though. But I feel like... Well, let's try it once. We, we've been playing a little bit too careful. Okay, we won. Okay. Just gotta man up a little bit. Man, oh man. We have our untapped land on turn 4. We have a uh, Iron Crag Speed on turn 4.
Okay, we do have a quite a situation here. Should I march here? March for six? To see if I can get some lands? That's actually perfect. So if I spike field hazard, this thing only lets me play two cars, right? One, two, three, four. I don't want them to use their Shadow Spear on their 2-1, but I mean, this is an uh, open book right now. Hopefully opponent does not make that mistake. Okay, Strike It Rich is actually kind of good because now I don't have to shock myself three for three. So I have more life because of that. So hopefully we can win here. Excuse me? Oh my god, we're at one! It actually mattered! It actually mattered. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Okay, opponent's going first. I do have a spike field hazard for like an elf. It's kind of a dangerous hand. Like no strangle. And we're going second. Oh, we'll see. Speaking of strangle. Hush bring er. So I'll play the spike field hazard. It looks like they're playing aura without Shadow I don't know why they play Hushbringer. Like what is this? They don't even have a Loris. Interesting. it could be um they forgot. They forgot the aura. I am so lucky, by the way. Like, just get an Iron Crag feed off the top like that? That is crazy. So you do need to be a little bit lucky to win with this deck. It's not just all free. Looks like we won. They didn't even see the char, char vulture. 
it's just so consistent now. It's so crazy. It's actually just too crazy. Inquisition of Kozilek. I think you actually take the land. I actually genuinely think... Yeah, there you go. So now we're also Thoughtseize proof, which is kind of crazy. So we're just waiting for a land here. Arcanist. So, we need a land. The longer this Arcanist stays on the battlefield, the harder it is for me. Opponent looks at our hand. We have the two car combo here. Untap land. Untap land. Now. Untap land? So I should probably just do it now. Also, opponent discarded a fatal push, so that probably means that they couldn't get, um... That is interesting. Yeah, unfortunately I have to play this. I can't play the strangle here. Feels bad, man. So now opponent... So they discarded a fatal push and because of Crucius can only fetch mana greater than or less than the one mana card, so... Unless they top decked a Thoughtseize right now, I'm probably safe. So they're, they're digging. They had another Inquisition of Kozilek. Did they top deck? Did they top deck? They did not. And we have exactly three cards. That must feel really bad for them. That they had a bunch of Inquisition calls legs. Boop. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, it's too consistent right now. This is actually genuinely a keep, right? We have a Iron Crag feed, Reckless Handling. As long as... Uh... Search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle, then discard a card at random. So as long as this thing doesn't discard the Ultra itself, we're good, right? It's like we're playing against, um... Maybe Dragonstorm? Reanimator. Oh, we gotta go fast. Uh, we gotta go fast. Actually, we do have a Jawari's Disruption, too. For turn four. Maybe we're fine. So we can go Reckless Handling? Is there... Is, it's gonna be their turn two. Goblin Engineer. 
Okay, I'm, I'm confused by this. So, we reckless handling now. Since we don't care if it ditches any of these cards. Nice. I think even if we went second this game, we would have been fine, right? Because we had a Jawari. We don't care about Grease Fang. Honestly, this card, it's kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of insane. My god. This is... This is not fair. Okay, it looks like we're playing against um, a wizard deck. This is a kind of a questionable hand. Uh, we don't have a treasure generation for creativity either. Should I try this hand? I think... So, I mean, conv we definitely want Strangle. But because we have March, we might be able to find it. It is not. Taking the creativity when I don't have a treasure generation. What are you doing? What is my opponent doing? Okay, I'm scared. Should I march here? March for four. Because I really need to kill that priest. I should have gotten rid of this march. Okay, we did find it. We found it, but at what cost? At what cost? So we have a 50% chance of losing here. Let's see it. Get rid of March. No! Not like this. Not like this. Untap land. Untap land? I think we lost. Unless... 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 I, I think we got too hasty. I, I thought this was a creativity... I mean, I thought... They were playing Sarah's Emissary, but like, we don't care about Atroxa. Like, who cares about Atroxa? Okay. There's one way to win the game. Iron Crag Feet. Okay, we lost the game. They got a Thoughtseize. Um, that? Oh, no. These lands are so bad.
Oh my god. I think we should actually Magma Opus. No. Because these are... Oh my god, this is so bad! Triple C get restoration. Triple Seagate Restoration, because that doesn't help us casting an Iron Crag feat at all. Okay. Thank God. We have a chance. So I think this is a combo deck. Player class kind of acts like a Heliod, putting a plus one, plus one counter whenever you gain life. Yeah, this is a combo deck. Oh my god, thank god we drew a land there. That would have been horrible. Safe. Nice. Double Iron Crag feat with Indomitable Creativity, but we don't have any treasure generation right now. But we also only have two lands. I think this is a mulligan. Okay, uh, hopefully opponent's not playing control deck because I'm about to get rid of a uh, Pact of Negation here. A uh, boop. Thank God, I kept, I mulliganed. So we need a treasure generation right now. Or a Belcher. Belcher also works too. Reckless Impulse. Hmm. So I'm going to get hit for a lot here. But they wouldn't have played Reckless Impulse if they had a creature though. Right? If they had a 2 minute creature, they would have used it. That's so strange. Unless they just drew Dreadhor Arcanist. I think they just drew Dreadhor Arcanist. That sucks. Vulture? Oof. I think we lost this one. No treasure generation. Feels bad. I think we lost this one, boys. Unless we get a Belcher off the top. Belcher off the top, please. Hmm. We did mulligan, but we kind of got a similar hand, right? Yeah, we got a, We just got a similar hand. 